Hey Cloud Gamers, with no current news on what's happening with Apple and Fortnite, Epic and Fortnite, or even GeForce Now and Fortnite with regards to iOS support, the development community has once again taken it up on itself to give you a solution. Thanks to the founders over at the Cloudy app for bringing this to our attention, we now have a new version specifically for Fortnite with Fortnite specific touch controls, as well as controller touch controls called Recarius. So let's dive into how to get this set up. If you have previously set up the alt store on your phone, you can skip some of this and start with the setup precarious section. Otherwise, for all those that are new, you have some prerequisites here, especially on Windows, you need to download and install iTunes and download and install iCloud and then download the alt store. All of the links to these are in the description below. Finally, you will need to download the IPA file, the latest one I've linked in the description, but if that doesn't work, hop onto their Discord and get the latest version. Once you've done that, you need to plug in your phone. Done all that, you need to install Alt Store and then just right click it and install. You will need to sign in with your Apple ID here. You will need to log into your iTunes accounts, but you do not need to log into iTunes or iCloud specifically. Once you've installed Alt Store, it will prompt you to say that previous Alt Store installations will now be void, but hey, you're not going to use that. Then open up iTunes and go to your phone. From the list, select file sharing, and this is where you're going to now drag in that file that you downloaded for Recarius. Now, most of these are not available when you're using Alt Store to be found for file sharing. However, the one that I found most reliable is Chrome. Chrome always seems to be available, so what you need to do is select Chrome in the file sharing list. You can see the Cloudy app previously. I'm going to drop the Recarius IPA file into there, and then I'm going to switch over to my phone to see the next step. On your phone, launch Alt Store. If you don't see Alt Store after the first install, you do need to reboot your phone and you'll need to reboot your phone again after you've installed Recarius. So let's get into this. Let's hit the plus button in the top left. We'll go to that Chrome folder where we just transferred over that file and select the Recarius IPA. This will ask you for your Apple details. So just log in with your Apple account. Do read through these. I'm going to skip through them for the expediency of this guide but do read the pop-ups that come up here, they are quite important, as you will need to repeat this process every seven days otherwise. So once you've done that and you've rebooted your phone, welcome to Recarius. Now, there are a few little caveats here, so do pay attention. Look through the guide here, it does give you some nice little guides about signing in, and once you have signed into GeForce Now, be sure to come into the settings here, hit custom, and make sure you hit that 1080 16 by 9 otherwise you will only get a square in the middle of your screen. So once you've got that set up you're going to want to have a play with the HUD layout tool. This is where you get all your specific settings for Fortnite and your specific buttons. So do lay this out on the screen the way that you want to and again look at the guide that it provides you here. It is very good and very useful. Once you've got all that set up, you're going to want to go and find Fortnite. Unfortunately, for some reason in this version of Recarius, you are not going to be able to find it. Now, that's okay. You just need to put a custom user agent. I'll share again the link in the description of where you can get this from. So just copy the Chromebook one. This is the one that I've always found most reliable. And paste this into the custom user agent section in the Recarius app. With the manual user agent ticked. Then just reload GeForce Now using the link above there and you will now be able to search and find Fortnite. Once that launches though, if you are hit with the Epic Store login, unfortunately the touch controls do not work and that means the keyboard does not work either. Some people have found that using the SpongeBob SquarePants Epic game allows you to log in but for some reason again I was not even able to add this to my library. So I went back to my old faithful method of just going onto the PC, play.geforcenow.com, log in, and launch Fortnite from there. Especially as I have two-factor authentication enabled, it's much easier to just quickly do this on a browser on the PC, log in and two-factor authenticate, and then once all that's done, you can launch Fortnite as it will launch anyway, and now you can just quit out of the browser. So very important that you don't quit the game here, 
otherwise you'll have to start the whole thing again apart from logging in of course but just close the browser down and then switch back to your phone and now if you just launch Fortnite from your phone that session will just get picked up automatically and will launch Fortnite. You do only have to log into Epic once and as long as you don't log out it will remember for all other sessions but if you do get stuck just hop on the PC and then you can bring that back across. And there you have it, you do have some extra setup steps in Recarius, so do pay attention to their little guide here where you need to go and set up custom bindings and configuration in Fortnite itself. Otherwise, half the buttons will not work and you will be pretty stuck. So do make sure you read through those guides and set up your custom controls, but then you have a full customized UI for Fortnite. Enjoy guys, let us know in the comments below how you get on and if you do get stuck, their Discord is extremely helpful, so do hop on there if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.